There's a romantic term we like to use in photography called chasing light. It's uh, for when like we as photographers like to run around and find beautiful light that we can shoot in or beautiful images that can be created using the natural light around us. The problem with natural light is that you know, if you take one wrong step, all of a sudden you have completely ruined your shot. Or maybe by the time you've found that beautiful natural light, it, it's too late, the sun's gone down, and it, it's just a bit too dark. But hey, we're indie filmmakers. We're supposed to be fighting against all the odds to make the art we wanna make, right? We're supposed to be dealing with bad light and not having permits and all the other headaches that come along with this. Well, maybe, but uh, maybe that's where something like this comes in handy. This is the Zhiyun Cinepeer CX100, and uh, I think it might solve some of those issues for me. A few weeks ago, I got a very random email from Zhiyun, and they said, hey, we've got this cool light, we want you to check it out. I didn't really think too much of it because, to be honest, I figured I was too small of a channel for anyone to care about my opinion, but it turns out that that's not the case because a couple weeks later, this showed up. I spent so much of my filmmaking career using available light and just kind of chasing things around. I'm doing it right now. And light's fading fast, and I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Or at least, I didn't until this thing showed up. That's so bright. Something that's hard for me is that I've had access to work with really, really incredible equipment as a grip on you know large sets, and I can't use those same things for my own filmmaking. And, and that's frustrating because it's one of those little things that stops you from doing the thing you wanna do. Using available light's amazing. It's super cool. We've all seen The Revenant, but we're not The Revenant. We're just folks here on YouTube trying to figure out what we're gonna do. So when a company wants to send you something and they want you to review it and it actually seems like something you need, that's super cool. Uh, like I said, we're starting to lose some light here. So maybe we need to see what this thing can do in action. Give me one sec. Whew. How's that for a glow up? All your favorite YouTubers have probably already told you everything you wanna know about this light in terms of specs, so I don't wanna waste your time. It's pretty straightforward. You got from zero to 100, and you've got 2700 to 6700 Kelvin. That's it, that's all you really need to know. It's got a fan built into it. it kinda of feels like you're holding a camera when you're using it. What I'm more interested in doing is taking this out and seeing what I can actually film with it. So we're waiting for the sun to go down. We're gonna go film some creepy little scene and uh, get a few shots and see what this light can do and how we can use it as a one light setup to create some cool content and maybe even what the hell, light a scene that could end up in a film. However, this is my first product review, which is pretty cool. And I'm not gonna miss a chance for an unboxing. Just because I had to take it out for this intro does not mean that I'm gonna let my channel go without its first ever unboxing. So let's go do that. All right, so while I am uh, just showing you what's in the box here, I want to talk a little bit about what I was going to use this for over the next week. So the first thing I wanted to film was a fun little horror scene. My, my girlfriend and I just kind of went out one night and tried to get some shots kind of mimicking moonlight and cars passing by. And we used the light for everything you see except for uh, the, the brake lights. Uh, everything you see was lit by just this light. And then I went on and shot some interviews and stuff. I really wanted to make sure that the only thing I was using was what came in this light box. So check it out. Okay, so I'm actually just working on a review for a shoe for my other channel, but uh, if you want to take a look here, you can see we've got the, um, so we've got the Cinepeer CX100 here off of an arm and a C-stand here, which is pretty rad. Like this is such a tiny little setup. The C-stand is way overkill because it's like a heavy duty metal C-stand and you absolutely don't need that. But you can just see how like versatile it is. I'll show you some B-roll from that other video and hey, maybe you can go like and subscribe. So I was actually trying to create some sort of just cool, fun, different lighting for uh, that shoe video. And because I had such a lightweight light, I could throw it under this boom arm, I could spin it around, I could move it, and just kind of do stuff really easily one-handed. Like I'm, I'm holding the mic right now, talking to you while I'm getting B-roll for my other video. Yeah, I don't know, it, it's rad, it's cool. So this setup is uh, a little bit wild, but check this out. So we've got the CX100 that is on a, uh, C stand here and that's bouncing off of this umbrella, this big white umbrella. Uh, I have it stopped down like crazy here so you can actually see what's going on. But if we adjust the light for this, okay. 
basically we're just getting this huge spill of super soft nice light onto uh, the whole rest of the kitchen here not the most beautiful setup in the world but hey uh, kind of cool to see that you can like put this tiny little light in here and just get like a massive amount of light okay so i've had this light for about a week what do i think well I've used it in a few different scenarios. We used it to make that creepy horror scene thing and, and that was fun. It was freezing cold and we only had like 45 minutes to do everything, but I like the way it turned out. Certainly I would use some more modifiers and that kind of thing if I really wanted to sell the look of moonlight, but I do think that just given that I only had the little diffuser and the light itself, I, I think it turned out all right. I also used it to film some interviews and I was really happy with the results of that. I was just using it to kind of balance against the natural light that was coming in from the left side of the frame and, and it did a good job. It was really easy to use and set up, took barely any time. Uh, finally, I used it for some shoe reviews that I was doing and yeah, I, I thought it worked well. Overall, I think it's a great quality light and I'm really happy to have it as a part of my kit. It's actually pretty neat that in a tiny little bag, I can have my mic, I can have this light, I can have an external audio recorder and pretty much everything I need to do audio and lighting outside of like, you know, tripods and modifiers and stuff in a tiny little pack. And that's super convenient when you're going on set and you're doing like running gun stuff in places where you might not really have the opportunity to control everything. I would say the big positives for this light is the fact that it's super portable. You can charge it via USB-C while you're using it and you do have a lot of control over the light. The other nice thing is that the fan is super, super quiet. It's on right now and you, you can't hear it even a little bit. I can throw the mic up right next to it, watch. Nothing. And, and so, so that's a big plus for me. I think that that's a, that's a great sign that you have something that you could use in a lot of different scenarios and, and not have to worry about it. What are the cons? I would say that the battery life is not quite what I want it to be. I wish it lasted a little bit longer. You know, with the Molus series, which are the higher end, more expensive lights, you can swap out the battery. And I think that that's really helpful. It is nice that you can charge via USB-C though. So if you're in a scenario where you can do that, you can just pop this into like a USB-C port in a V-mount battery or something like that, or just connect it to the wall and, and you're good to go. I would also say that I found it a little bit hard to adjust the brightness levels of this. Like it basically goes from on to, when you pop into 10%, it, it doesn't really feel like 10%. It feels like it's much higher. Uh, I, I think some fine tuning of that would be nice, but but other than that, that's that's pretty much everything I have to say when it comes to the negatives. It's a great little light. Question of whether or not this is the right light for you. Well, if you need a 100 watt light and you have 250 bucks to spend, this is gonna be your option. It's, it's a great light for what it is. It's super portable and compact. If you need something that you don't have to constantly have attached to a wall, this is gonna be the best option that you you can get. If you have the extra money and you want to bump up to the to the Molus lights that they sell, I think that those are great options too. The fact that you can swap out the battery, there's an app, there's a screen, there's lots of little things that make those the higher price point models. But I think as a base model, this is very, very solid and, and it's a great thing to have as part of your kit. So thank you so much to Gian for sending this light over. If y'all want to pick up this light, you can actually head to the link below in the, in the description. And if you use the promo code that I put down there, you'll get 25% off, which is a really good deal. That makes this light, you know, well under $200 Canadian. And I think that that's an awesome price. So follow that link use that and pick up a cool light, pick up anything else you might need at the Xi'an store anyways. I think they have a lot of cool stuff. I'm actually hoping I can review more of their stuff because more and more I see this company putting out really great quality stuff and and, and I'm excited to see where they go from here. I've used other products, there's like their gimbals and, and I've only had good things to say. So yeah, check them out. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. Go out there, create something with a cool little light and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.